Hello everyone and welcome to this video. Today I want to show you a little bit what you can do with the Retouch Pro Photoshop extension panel. I purchased this yesterday for 20 euros with my own money. I'm not affiliated or connected with the developers in any way, so you will not get a ref link, but you will get my own unbiased opinion about this. And what this does, it creates Photoshop actions when you push the desired outcome. So it can do a lot of skin retouching, eye retouching, lips and teeth, hair retouch. You can increase or decrease eye size, the nose. You can make her smile. Let's try this. Yeah, it's working. And you can change the clothes color. It comes with a lot of presets. Let's do some glam. What is this doing? No. Nope. this that's a little bit better Let's increase the opacity okay but that is not what i want to show you today today i want to show you a very quick retouch you can do with this and let's jump right into this we duplicate the layer by ctrl j and hit easy and now the thing does its job. This will take a little bit of time. Okay, now we have a mask, a black mask. So we use our brush with white as a foreground color. We change it by hitting X. And look at her eyes. This is completely unedited, out of camera. Sorry, I, of course, um, developed it in Camera Raw, but doesn't have any retouching or whatsoever already so go over her skin and for the sake of this video it's very harsh and will not be perfect I'm doing this with a mouse okay. I'll leave out the edges a little bit. And as this is way too harsh, of course. So not a little bit. We will go to opacity and reduce it to zero and go up until we like it. Okay, coming. See, but I think it's a little bit too much around 50, maybe 43. I think 48 is fine. So let's see the before and after. It's not too much, but it's doing a job. And now let's go to the eyes. Hit iris. Does its job. Brush white as a foreground color. Let's move into it and lighten the eyes up. Okay, and as the eyes already pop without anything, you can reduce the opacity as well, maybe around 80. That's perfect. Let's go to black people. And let's go to 
right turn. Oh, sorry. Go back to the player and then right turn. Oops. And again, for the sake of this video, very harsh. Go back to black by hitting X. Again, this is way too harsh and we reduce the opacity to zero and increase it. I think around 20% is fine. Very subtle. And I think that's a two minute retouch. It's not perfect, but it shows what this can do. Maybe have some Final. Oh, sorry, once again, I have to go back to this layer and then hit final touch. This is increasing the contrast. And make it a little bit more. Yeah, very subtle, but I like it. Here you can see it. Clearly it's increasing the contrast. I think that's it already. So leave me a comment if you have any suggestions on how to use this tool better. Um, how do you like this edit? And please check out my next videos.